2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS makes fast faster. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. The 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS made its public debut online Wednesday, but this more hardcore version of the 911 GT3 won't reach US dealerships until spring 2023. As with previous RS models, the 992 generation GT3 RS adds downforce and reduces weight to improve lap times. Engineers incorporated lessons learned from the 911 GT3 R race car, including a single large, angled radiator in the car's nose, replacing the previous three radiator setup. This frees up space for more elaborate aero elements on the sides of the car, Porsche said in a press release. In fact, the traditional openings ahead of the rear wheels are now used exclusively for aerodynamic purposes, not for drawing air into the engine, according to Porsche. Other elements include front wheel arch vents and inlets to reduce pressure in the arches, roof fins, blades and air intakes on the rear wheel arches, and large nostrils in the front hood to exhaust air from the radiator. The expected rear wing now consists of two elements, a main wing and hydraulically adjustable blade on swan neck mounts. It sits higher than the roof, a first for a Porsche production car, and features a Formula One-style drag reduction system, DRS, that lets the driver adjust the rear wing. A front splitter and rear diffuser are incorporated as well. All of these items combined to produce more than 900 pounds of downforce at 124 miles per hour, twice that of the 991.2 GT3 RS and three times as much as the current 992 GT3, Porsche claims. The automaker says the new GT3 RS can also generate 1,895 pounds of downforce equivalent to the curb weight of a 1956 Porsche 356A at 177 miles per hour. Even suspension components were aerodynamically optimized. Teardrop-shaped profiles for the front suspension pieces help generate 88 pounds of downforce at top track speed, Porsche claims. The front track was also widened by 1.14 inches, and engineers made some changes to reduce the pitch under braking. To keep weight down, Porsche used carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP, for the doors, front quarter panels, roof, and front hood, as well as some interior components like the leather-trimmed bucket seats. That brings the curb weight down to 3,268 pounds, and an available YSAC package can shave off an additional 17.6 pounds with forged magnesium wheels, carbon fiber exterior parts and CFRP anti-roll bars, rear coupling rods, and rear axle shear panel. It also adds magnetic paddle shifters for a more precise feel. Power is provided by the naturally aspirated 4.0-liter flat 6 from the standard GT3. New camshafts with modified cam profiles increase output by 16 horsepower for a total of 518 horsepower. A 7-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission is standard, Porsche didn't mention a manual option, as on the standard GT3. Porsche quotes 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.0 seconds, 0.2 second quicker than the standard GT3, and a top speed of 184 miles per hour, no doubt limited by all that aero. 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS Porsche also didn't discuss a Nürburgring lap time, but that's likely forthcoming. For reference, a GT3 with the Manthe Performance Kit delivered a 6 minutes and 55.737 seconds time earlier this year. Stopping is handled by 6-piston monoblock calipers, with larger piston diameters than the standard GT3, as well as thicker rotors. Carbon ceramic brakes are available as an option. The GT3 RS also gets normal, sport, and track drive modes, which can adjust everything from compression damping for the front and rear axles to the rear differential. Pricing for the 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS starts at $225,250 with destination. Buyers will be lucky to get one at that price.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.